it's done welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be starting the setup for May in my Lloyd Charm bullet journal and I'm also going to be showing you how I use carbon transfer paper and I wanted to do a video similar to this uh, a long time ago where I sort of explained how I use transfer paper why and uh, we'll kind of get into that in this video as well. So it'll kind of be like a combination video of the two, a setup and the use of the transfer paper. So let me show you what I mean by transfer paper. I'm gonna get to my page here. And transfer paper, um, it can come similar to, this is, uh, I bought mine off Amazon. I'll make sure and link it below. Um, but it is a bunch of sheets of this black, really thin, um, almost tissue paper like consistency paper. And um, they use this for a lot of different things um, art projects. Um, I know they used to use this in like, I don't, I don't know if it's checkbooks or like those um, message notepads, anything with like a register that you write on a piece of paper and it makes a copy of what you write underneath that. So um, this is not a new thing by any means and it's actually sort of outdated because it's not used nearly as much anymore because a lot everything is digitized now. Um, but you can still get these. They're fairly inexpensive. Like I said, I'll make sure and link them, but they come in like a packet. Mine came a little bit bent, but it's okay. Um, it comes in a full size sheet in the, the plastic bag and there's a shiny side that you can see and there's a dull side. So the shiny side is what actually makes the transfer. So I'm going to show you how I set up my page. Um, using this transfer paper. Now, I do enjoy sketching and I do enjoy drawing and the majority of the um, setups that I do, any of the doodles, the majority of that stuff is actually hand-drawn. Um, this, for example, uh, I did draw myself. All of these flowers I drew myself. Um, this one doesn't have a ton of sketches. This bullet journal doesn't have a ton of sketching in it. Um, but what basically uh, I do enjoy drawing and um, setting up my bullet journal and actually doing the drawing. However, I have had discussions with family members, friends, and tried to get them into bullet journaling with little success because. For example, people think that they can't draw. Well, drawing takes practice, just like anything else. Um, to some people, it comes more naturally than others, as with anything. But if you don't practice, then you'll never get better. Uh, same thing with hand lettering. I talk to people and they're like, how do you do that? How do you hand letter like that? It looks great. It's all practice. Uh, I you go through ups and downs just like anything whether you're an athlete if you're any kind of professional um you know whatever an artist a photographer anything that you do takes practice and um so a lot of people get turned off by bullet journaling because they see all of these beautiful bullet journals on instagram on YouTube and yes, they are beautiful. Um, but a lot of people are discouraged by the fact that their bullet journal doesn't look like somebody else's bullet journal. Um, so in talking to my mom in particular, shout out to your mom. Um, it is, it's a challenge to do the drawing and to do the hand lettering um, and can, that can be a little bit frustrating um, and intimidating. So this transfer paper I hope inspires somebody to try bullet journaling and give this a shot um, and see if you like it. I, I would hate for it to be a crutch and to for this to be the only way that you bullet journal 
but it is a nice way to get started or to add some elements that maybe you're not comfortable adding on your own. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, first, I'm gonna take the shiny side of the transfer paper and put it down on the side of my bullet journal that I want um, my picture to be on. So I'm basically going to trace, using this transfer paper, I'm gonna trace an image onto my bullet journal. And this month is my birth month. So I am a Taurus and I'm going to use this image of a bull that I printed off the internet as my title page. So I'm gonna show you. Now, one thing I would recommend, once you have everything placed and you know it's where you want it to be, try not to move it around too much. If you do move this carbon paper, the transfer paper, it does smudge on to the notebook and it does not erase well at all. Um, another tip that I have is to use a colored pen or pencil. So what I'm gonna use instead of black is I'm gonna use a gold gel pen. Hopefully this works. Um, usually I use a colored pencil so you can see where you've been and where you've traced. So let me get zoomed in a little bit here. Move this so you can see. I think this image is so cool. And show you what we got. Boom. Look how cool that is. I mean, it, that took a few minutes, and now I have this really cool big bowl. How exciting. So I was doing some pressing on the carbon paper, which left a little bit of smudging, which if it's real light, you can erase a little bit of it. If it's dark, don't even try to erase it because it's just going to smear. So these like lines here that I was pressing really hard to get the outline, don't press on those.
Okay, so um, I'm at a point right now where I have this page pretty much done, just not filled out. I need to put the dates in. But this pen, um, the gold pen on the black background destroyed the front of um, the other side of this page, which just happened to be my cover page. So it has um, this like really ugly bleed through. So um, what I did was, since I'm keeping with kind of the black theme, I cut out this uh, piece of um, paper, black paper, and I'm gonna put it up here. And then I think to be consistent, I may put another strip down here. It kind of looks like I'm trying to cover something, but hopefully I can like tie everything in together. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more paper here for the bottom and then get this glued down. And then um, I did do the gold on this side too, so that bled through onto this side. So I'm gonna do um, maybe some headers up here for both of these pages as well.